How you doing everybody? Today I'm gonna tell you exactly what toolbox you need to get if you're a brand new mechanic. How you doing everybody? So today I'm gonna give you guys the different qualities of a good toolbox that you're gonna need if you're starting off mechanic. Now there's gonna be a lot of different qualities that I think you need. Other guys might tell you that you don't need that type of stuff, but if you're one of those guys that doesn't agree with me or wants to add on on the other things that, you, that new mechanics should look at, and in, in a, hold on. We're back. <laughs> Sorry gentlemen. Compressor going off. So if you guys have any more qualities of a good toolbox, please leave them in the comment section below and let me know what you guys like in a toolbox. Now there's a lot of hope, there's a lot of different things that you're gonna wanna look for in a toolbox. Obviously you wanna have a good space, you wanna have uh, safety, make sure your tools are safe, you wanna make sure that the toolbox is gonna last you. There's a lot of different things you need. Those are basics. But I'm gonna give you guys different things that I looked for when I was starting off and what I would have changed in the toolbox that I bought. So you guys know that I use a very standard snap-on box, which is this bad boy right here. And this snap, this box have, has been with me, I would say for about 10 years now. And this is my roll around box. And I love this box and I have made videos on it before. And the reason why I like it is because of what you guys see right on top, the mess. And I don't like messes on my toolbox, but whenever you're working on a car, this is gonna happen and it's normal, you clean up afterwards, make sure you have all your tools before you let the car go in case you are missing something, it's in the, it's in the engine bay or something, you know that it's, it's missing and you go in and get it. So you always wanna clean up your box before you give the car back to your customer, but the reason why I love this box is because it has all this space and a lot of different toolboxes that a lot of mechanics have right now, they don't really have too much space for them. Obviously they might not need it, but I've always enjoyed having a nice space so I can lay out my tools. I could put some bolts on here, make sure I know where everything goes and have everything nice and organized as I do the job. Normally I have everything like in one area and the tools that I'm using, I put them on top on this area and I have everything nice and organized. Right now everything's kind of messed up, but you guys get it, I'm busy and all that good stuff. But that's the main reason why I like my roll around cab. Obviously, it's huge. I mean, this thing, let's measure it out so you guys gonna know how long it is, because I don't even know, to be honest with you. This thing is three, it's 40 inches long, and it is about 40, 39 inches tall, and each drawer will go uh, 17 inches uh, uh, wide or uh, deep. So, it's a pretty nice box just because it's a roll around. I can roll it around anywhere here in the shop, you know, so I can like, the tires are really, really nice, they're rubber, so they don't really make a lot of noise when I roll it around. It's easy to roll around, you know what I'm saying? It's nice and hefty and, and big, but I can fit all my tools in here that I use on a daily basis. And that's why I love this toolbox, is because I can use all my tools that I use on a daily basis, I never have to go to my big box. And if you guys know, if you guys are working at a dealership and the, the, the shop is like long, then you're gonna have to go from like your main toolbox, walk back to your, your big toolbox, then walk back over here, then walk back to your other toolbox, come back. So it makes a whole bunch of uh, unnecessary trips happen. But with this, I have everything I basically need to repair a car in this box. If I need a specialty tool, obviously it's gonna be my big box, but I have everything here that I need on a daily basis. A lot of mechanics will put their sockets and wrenches on their top drawer of the big box. I don't like doing that. I like having everything at arm's reach. So whenever I'm working in a car, you know, and the car's right here on the lift, and then like I'm working on it, I go ahead and just like open up this drawer, reach in here, and grab it, do it, and then I'm like, oh, I need, I need a, I need a plier now or something, you know, I'm, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying? So this, this box just makes that easier for me. And when I was working in the field, um, as like, you know, working in the field as a tech tech, you know, for, for, uh, for the dealership, what ended up happening was that I, I used to have to make a whole bunch of trips and um, a lot of like management would come over and be like, you guys gotta be faster and this and that. And they gave us a whole bunch of different tips on how to be faster. And one of the tips they gave us was get a toolbox that was big enough to carry or have all your main tools so that you don't have to walk around back and forth. Because when I was an apprentice, I didn't have a bay or, or set area. I had to like move around because everybody was kind of teaching me everything. So I had to always be moving from one area of the shop to the other. Um, hold on guys, I am, there you go. That's a little bit of lighting. So yeah, so when I, when I was working, um, everybody kind of, I, I would have to be going back and forth and I had, you know, they gave us a tip like, hey, that waste, like 
I think it was like 40, 45 minutes to an hour of just walking back and forth to your box. So they calculated this, right? They calculated how long it actually took you because like they found how many times a, a mechanic would walk back and forth and they timed it and they, they equated it to like 45 to an hour of average time you spend on getting tools. So if you were able to just bring your tools with you, you saved an hour and you could use that hour to flag more hours, make more money for the company, you make more money as well. So that's the main reason why I like my big roll around black box. And that's why I always recommend it to new mechanics. New mechanics need to have these things. They need to have space for their toolbox, for all their tools that they're gonna buy, the basics, their, their, their hand tools, their wrenches, their ratchets, you know, pliers, uh, area for their hammers and pry bars and screwdrivers and some electric tools or power tools. And then I like to have a nice little space on top so that I can set stuff on there whenever I'm working and the last thing you want is to make sure that it's safe and good quality and it's not, it's not gonna be easy to break into, especially since you're a brand new mechanic. And this box obviously, be, obviously being snap-on, for me, you know, safety is, no, eight, there's gonna be very few people that can break into that thing. And if they are gonna break into it, they're gonna need some time, which they're not gonna have when they're at the dealership breaking into a shop or something like that, trying to pry it open. So for me, this thing is super safe. Any, but, but you know, nowadays most boxes are pretty safe and if somebody wants to get in your box, they're gonna get in it, they're gonna mess it up and it's gonna be, there's gonna be, there's gonna be nothing you can do about it. You wanna just kinda prevent them from getting into it quickly. That's the main thing you're trying to find. And with this box, that's what I got. I got the space, I got my, what I liked having a nice open spot on top and I got, you know, enough space for all the tools that I use on a daily basis. So if you have a toolbox like this, even if it's not snap-on, you just wanna have a toolbox that kinda resembles that. Now obviously there's other toolboxes that a lot of mechanics like. They, there's like the standing toolbox, and I'll put a picture of it here. But these toolboxes are, are the, the norm for all mechanics. And I honestly don't really like them very much. The reason why I don't like them very much is because you only have that one open space where you open up the drawer. And um, I don't like that. I don't like just having that one little space and like maybe four drawers in total. And yes, you can fit like your, your hand tools in there and like some basic stuff you use. But I like having everything at my fingertips, especially if I'm gonna be rolling it around. Might as well roll around a box, a whole box, and then like have everything you need. And I do, I have everything I need. My red box, if you guys see my toolbox tours, my red box keeps all my important stuff, oh not my important stuff, but like the, the specialty stuff that I really don't ever use. The only reason I have this box is just because, you know, I don't have enough space to fit every, all this stuff in there. I, you know, I kinda wanna just go and buy like another, you know, Harbor Freight box and just get rid of this big box because that would actually give me more space than this box and since, since um, it's super safe in here, I have alarms and cameras and everything like that, I'm not really worried too much about safety and yeah, so, that's the reason why I love my roll around box and I don't like the other boxes. Now there's other boxes out there too that you can get, but as a, as a beginning mechanic, you're gonna be moving around way too much for you to really focus on buying like the big box and then having one box. You know what I mean? A lot of guys will have like a big box and they'll have just like a, a roll around tray or, or, or cart, you know, and they just load up their entire tools they, they think they're gonna use and they roll it to the car, which is fine too. But for me, I wanna have a box that I can open and close and I can have everything safe there and I don't have to worry about putting everything away at the end of the day or, you know what I'm saying? So this just, it comes down to a lot of preference. But the main thing you wanna take away from this is you wanna have space, you wanna have a nice little area on top and you want safety, you wanna be easy for it to transport back and forth. And the last thing you wanna always think about is how are you gonna be able to outgrow this box? How many years will you have this box before you outgrow it? Now that's a big, that's a big thing that you have to think about because I think of toolboxes as a shell, right? So like you guys know like crustaceans and like in the sea and stuff, they'll go into, like hermit crabs, right? They'll go into a shell, right? And then they get big and then they outgrow that shell and they leave that shell and they go find another one that's like abandoned but it's bigger than they fit them. And then they go around and they live in that shell until like they get too big and then they find a bigger shell and then bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the other shells, they kind of leave them for other mechanics or other crustaceans that are, uh, other hermit crabs that are smaller than them. And they kind of, it always, you know, it's just, just a cycle. I think about toolboxes the same way. You have your little toolbox, you're gonna outgrow it. My little toolbox when I first bought, my, my original toolbox is Travel Centers of America. They gave you a set of tools, right? I, worked, I used to work for TA. And they gave you a Craftsman 300 piece, I think it was 300 piece, uh, Craftsman tool set. 
Then I went to do, I, I had that little tool set. And then I went to Craftsman and I bought the cheapest toolbox I could find. It was like a, like a six drawer and the way that it locked, it had like a bar across it. And then like you just locked it. And then, and then the drawers would, like wouldn't slide out because that bar, but the bar was super, super just cheap and anybody could pull that bar out and then you, you could open your doors up. But that's the first box I ever had. And then from there, I went into a bigger box, then a bigger box, then a bigger box, and then this bad boy. So I always kind of moved up, and that's kind of how I look at it as, me, as uh, for you guys as well. If you are going to buy a toolbox, just know that you're going to outgrow it because you're going to buy more tools. Unless you buy something big from the beginning, which I recommend you buy at Harbor Freight, a thousand bucks, you have a really nice big box, and you're good to go. Slap on a snap-on sticker on that bad boy, nobody knows the difference. But... If you are gonna buy a box, just know that you're gonna outgrow it, so don't spend a ton of money on it. Know that once you get to your, you know, the peak of your career and you're, you're making good money, at that point you'll have a whole bunch of tools kinda of like laying all over the place, and then, then you'll have to buy something big, but at that point you'll be able to make a better decision because you'll know more about the industry and know where you're gonna be at and, and know what tools you need to house and, and the size and all that good stuff. From the beginning, in the beginning just buy a nice, cheap box, if you want to buy that roll around, that one that kind of opens up with the lid and everything like that, I like those two. I'm not saying don't buy those. I'm just saying that I prefer these roll arounds to those just because they give me more space and I can put everything I need in there and not worry about anything else. So if you are going to buy one of those, buy it. They're nice boxes. If you don't want to buy one of those, cool. Buy a huge Harbor Freight box and then have a roll around cart, right? Like a cart and just throw everything on top of there. Whatever, whatever works best for you and your situation. But for me, this is, this is my experience and this is why I bought this box, why I enjoy it, why I like it. So let me know in the comment sections what you guys, what do you guys look for in toolboxes, what you guys would recommend a new mechanic get, and what you guys like about certain toolboxes that, that you've seen. At the end of the day, this is about preference. You know, you do want to have like some criteria, but at the end of the day, it'll be preference. And I know plenty of guys that have a bucket and they just throw tools in there and then they go to the car and they start working, okay? Get the, get the job done as, as efficiently as possible, okay? Especially when you're in a small shop like this. I don't need this big old roll around, to be honest with you. I'm like literally the car, and then because the car comes up right here and then my other car is like literally right there and the farthest I walk to work in a car is over there in the back of the door uh, of, the, of the shop. And that's not even that far either. So for me, I don't really need this these big old boxes, but I've had them for so long and I'm so used to it that, you know, that's just how it is. But if you are in a big shop, you do have to take that into consideration. So it also depends on where you work. So there's a lot of different factors, but just know that there are preferences. And those, that's the reason why I like these toolboxes because of the easiness of, of having my tools with me and all that good stuff. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You can literally have your tools on the floor and that it'll work. What matters most is that you are able to get the job done and not get into debt to be able to do your job. Okay, if you have to buy snap, if you have to, if you can afford snap-on, buy snap-on. But you don't need to. Harbor Freight makes good enough boxes that you'll have, you know, you, you'll have it and you'll be happy with it. So make sure you guys get, you know, if you guys are watching this, you guys are fine. You guys will know what, exactly what to get because you're watching this. People that don't watch this stuff, those are the people that get into debt and then they, they hit their job because they're, they're, they're working just to pay off their debt, which is not the good way to go. You want to make money so you can pay your bills, save money, and invest. You don't want to be having to go into debt just to do your damn job, okay? So buy whatever box you can afford in the beginning. Make sure that you guys know those little differences, and once you do, you'll make the right decision. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and hit that uh, like button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much for watching. Like always, make sure you guys check out automechanicclub.com. Pick up some shirts. Thanks for watching, boys. Take care. Yeah, guys. Save them talking about, about this racket. Yeah, see this guy? Bring <laughs> that. Mm. Again, just fuck around, move around. It's two time! Two time! Yep. <laughs>